on. Hearts on. Brilliant Mortal Kombat! <laughs> God. Ah! I've been sick for like three weeks. I'm a little behind on the video. Sorry about that. I had some other shit going on in my life. Grandfather passed away at his funeral and all that. I'll talk more about that in a minute. This is uh, something important I wanted to say about him and why we're f***ing here at all. A lot to do with that guy. Sorry if I sound weird. I think my voice is like decently back now. And I went to the doctor and they were like, you don't have COVID or, or a flu or mesosimlioma. Uh, <laughs> this is something you're on the news. Uh, yeah, she's basically like, you don't test positive for any of those things. But then the doctor was also like, fuck, I feel fucking faint sometimes. That's good, let's do fucking wheelies and shit while I'm feeling like uneasy. Anyway, she's like, you don't have COVID, but also there's like a bazillion strains now apparently. Like even she seems sus about it, you know? <laughs> but she was like, who knows, it could be COVID, right? It's like, okay, they gave me some steroids, shot in the butt, you know, the old shot in the butt. Such an instant relief when you get that steroid shot. Also, what bullshit it is, it's like 106 degrees out, I have to have a cold. Like, I thought I was getting better. <coughs> <coughs> I'm mowing the lawn yesterday and like just pushing the mower, like the mower, what's that weight? Nothing. Pushing the fucking lawnmower around the yard was like winding me. I felt faint a few times. I'm like, this isn't cool. I feel like maybe this is like because of COVID, you know what I'm saying? Like now you get sick and you just get super fatigued. It's hard to recover. I know part of it is, oh, Jake, you're getting older. When you get older, being sick kicks your ass more. I get that. But man, there's something more I think going on here though. It seems like that is just screwed us all up now. Now it's like, where is that going to end? Like, is that just going to keep getting worse and worse now every time you get, plus you're getting older and then like, <laughs> <laughs> Cause if it's just gonna go like that, like what's it gonna be like in 10 years from now when he gets sick, right? Where's the lava pit? I'll just jump in right now. Forget it, dude. Oh, Jake, you can't do that. You've got kids. No, it's fine. I'll bring them with us. You know, they'll be crying. They'll be like, look, kids, it's not worth it. It's only gonna hurt for a second. I swear. Come on, let's just jump in and it's over. I've got a track day I'm supposed to do in a few days, like up at the supermoto track. All looking forward to it. But I'm like, dude, if I'm like this, I'll go, but I'm just gonna go to observe, you know what I'm saying? I got some other of my buddies going, some people out of the Patreon said they're going. Cause I just, I can't like this, dude. I just fucking can't. Air to fuel looks good. Best thing I got, I'm trying to verify that this is good because I was gonna go to a dyno and try to get like the final numbers of what this bike makes now. Just even getting a simple dyno is a pain in the ass. There's a few places I found, they're like, yeah, I can do it. They're, they're all like, but I can't give you torque because my my uh, RPM thing's broken. Dude, all these places are ghetto as fuck and they're barely hanging on. And it's only our own fault, it's the industry. It's, most people don't need like a bunch of custom dyno tuning or care. They're gonna do a few mods and they're a general map from like Dino Jet or whatever, it's gonna square it away or somebody can flash these two, they can square it away, which kind of sucks. And then when things go electric, there's no hope. <laughs> so yeah, currently I have like, literally, I don't even know. A few places I think they could do it, like the Har like a bunch of places that like do only Harleys. One guy told me, he goes, well, we have them calibrated to Harleys. I was like, what does that mean? You just have it like where it lies? Like how Mustang Dinos used to do? Remember Mustang Dinos? Ah, oh, guys, back in the day, the, the fucking poor owners, of the old 4.6 Mustangs. All right, on. There's plenty of people I knew that got some good power. They had good, fun cars with that 4.6, but man, the in 5.7 LS and even LT motors just fucking ate its ass, man. It was such a better fucking engine. And all the poor fucking Mustang guys, they came up with their own dyno. <laughs> a Mustang dyno. It was like, it was a fucking bag of lies is what it was. I'm hoping at least it's good for me to be out here breathing some outside air trying to get out of that house. <laughs> Remember the COVID that they told us not today. You don't want to go outside the house. Stay in, inside. You know, I don't get, I, I try not to go too like into conspiracy theories. But then the more and more you hear about it, you're like, that's just a fucking gaslight thing the government came up with. Think how many things during COVID got said that were like cancelable things, right? You can't talk about this. You can't question. When you can't question things, when somebody says something, and even I'm like, that's a bit suspect, but maybe, maybe? And the government's like, yeah. The government or the social media or everything's like, you, you, you canceled, you fucking lunatic. How dare you? Uh, that makes me kind of go, now wait a minute. But think about it, how many of those things were there during COVID where they said, Boldly, this is how it is. Don't question it. And I didn't question I was like, okay, you know, I guess. And then you find out, oh, fuck. The crazies actually were right on some of this shit. They were right on everything. <laughs> <coughs> I'm dying. There's, there's a lot of people that like, when you bring things up, it's like, well, remember like when the media told us like, oh, if you take the, get, get the COVID shot, then it stops right there. They're like, it does, what are you talking about? Like you're still, there's people who have like just swallowed that hole. It's like, but you know, that's not true. You know, it's not. 
You've had like 13 boosters and you still had COVID several times, which that's a whole weird chemical soup you got going on there. I don't know what that, I don't think that's the right idea. So you're sitting there telling me the stuff that you picked up from CNN, who's sponsored by Pfizer. Don't you think that's a conflict of interest there? You open your brain and they put things in and you just go, okay, don't take it twisted. I'm not saying like that the, the right's the correct way either. I find both pretty silly these days. I don't like extremes, and that's where everything seems to be now, is extremes. Here's a perfect example, and it's a completely not spicy thing to talk about. Abortions. The extremes that when government goes is not good, I feel like, on either side, where you have some states that are like, not at all, never. Jesus said it. And then on the other side of it, you got ones that are like, it's okay to the last minute. That maybe you're trying to give birth and you're like, I don't want it, kill it. If you've heard that and you said, no, it's not happening, that can happen in numerous states now. It certainly has happened, and it's disgusting. Extreme, extreme laws, extreme policies, suck. But if you're not extreme, nobody votes for you anymore. What we need is the AI to take over. We're all scared about the AI. We don't want that. But now, now I'm starting to go, you know what? Maybe, maybe they'll do it better. <laughs> the AI's like super base. It's like, <laughs> I'm gonna die. It would just work by pure logic and like no emotion. <laughs> it's kind of like the driving thing. Like, like a lot of people are like, I don't want this self-driving. And I'm like, no, I drive around you dumb assholes. You don't know how to fuck pay attention. You're always looking at your phone. You all suck at driving. Like by you, I mean the mass majority of people around me, not you guys watching this. You're actually into motorcycles. You're probably like more of a decent rider. I find that tends to be the case. Oh, did we pass Kathy's critters? Y'all should see this. We go back by Kathy's critters real quick. Actually, let me just make sure this car's not turning here. Yeah, see? See? You put your blinker on. I don't I don't know you're doing that. <laughs> That's why I didn't go, because I knew. I knew people are stupid. Anyway, um, yeah, this place right here is called Kathy's Critters. See right here from the road, there's some goats. Usually there's a kangaroo or two hanging out right here in the front. Oh, there's one right there. Yeah, it's just chilling. They'd be chilling, dude. What's up, kangaroos? There's two of them right there. I didn't even see them. They blended right in. This place, this place is a cool little place. It's a little, little, little baby zoo. But you can go out there and just pet those things. You can just go, do you want to pet a kangaroo? Come out to Kathy's Critters. You can pet a kangaroo. Anyways, yeah, self-driving. I want the self-driving takeover because too many people don't know how they're doing. And I, I'm like, you know, I know right now that it, 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 I, I should be a little more concerned because right now it's been running over motorcyclists. They don't, they don't particularly like us. That's not good, okay, obviously. But uh, I, I ask myself, who's running over more people? Tesla AIs or actual people? Besides, AI gets updates, right? AI is going to get better. People just get fun. We're just, I'm, every day I'm older, right? Every second that passes, I'm just decaying. You know, and I'm getting stupider, and my response time is slower. I'm more manic and weird. <laughs> oh yeah, we're like right around 12.9, 13. That's good, that's good. It could be like a little pinch leaner if we wanted to just get hyper efficiency, but I think that's fine. That's safe, water temps are just fine. You're still with me in this video. I, I guess <laughs> I wanna mention this, is that my grandfather did pass away recently. I'd consider him very much the reason that you're seeing me doing this here right now. Okay, and I, I spoke about it at his, his funeral. I kind of thought, yeah, I, I want to talk to you guys about that too. I won't like read you the eulogy or whatever I wrote. I'm gonna give you like the segmented out YouTube version. And then the most direct way, my grandfather actually gave me a, a got me a loan. He got me my first motorcycle. He co-signed on a loan for me, and that was, you know, that was something we got talking about motorcycles one time. And he would had one when he was younger. What was I 19, 20? When I 19, I think I got my first bike. Yeah, my six. And I didn't really have the funds. I was living on my own. I was telling him, yeah, I kind of want to buy a motorcycle. You know, he had had one. How fun it can be. And figured I didn't really have the finances for it. So he was like, I can co-sign on a loan for you. It's funny. We I remember us talking about it. It was like this whole thing where he was like. Yeah, so this is very good because you don't have much credit right now and you need to build credit in this world, so this is a good thing. We tried to make it like it was this responsible thing we were doing, like, oh yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, he knew what was up. This didn't happen, whatever. I've still bought a motorcycle. Like, maybe? I don't know. Like, at the time, it seemed like something fun to me, but I wasn't like, I wasn't into him. I didn't own a motorcycle at this point. I'd had like a little mini bike at one point. But I, it wasn't like a thing where it was like, it had taken hold of me, you know? I wasn't like passionate about it. I may very well just gotten into something else. Look at this guy's set up here. Got that f***ing camp and set up on there. Look at that thing, that thing looks nice. I, I don't know that it would have happened otherwise. It may have, I don't know. But it led me down the path where I ended up getting into them. Butterfly effect is weird, right? How things got here. There was a bigger element to that which was how my grandfather influenced me in my life to be who I am. My grandfather, people were very just attracted to him, you know? And he was like a leader. He would sit there, you know, you'd see him around people just speaking, leading this sort of charge. Maybe you kind of, you know, maybe like an alpha male or if you will, or something like that, I think he used that term, but 
Yeah, but he was a funny guy, you know, it wasn't like he was in there, like, dictating what people needed to do, like, in that sense. I mean, he was definitely a leader, could do that, but it was like he was always making everyone laugh around him. He was a funny yet magnetic personality that he had. When I was a young man, I found it really intimidating because I was not that way at all. Like I was shy and insecure. And this is the best thing about it. It's, you know, you, you want people in your life to influence you to be a better person, not by like, you know, drilling it into you, just by being an example of how to be a better man. And that's what my, so my grandfather was, so my father was too, in a big way. Most men in my life, my father and my grandfather, being the way that they were, it eventually just convinced me to try to be that way. I basically fake it till you make it kind of attitude. At some point, I think when I was around high school, I stopped being, I just was like, I'm gonna stop being this way. I'm gonna like, I'm going to like emulate how I think like my father or grandfather would act in situations, but me, you know, obviously not an old man, but you know, like, like I, I it's really just what you do. You have to start off kind of faking it. You have to just put out this persona of, of confidence. And I kept doing that until it stopped being fake, basically, you know? that's. That's the, that's the big thing there, is you just have to try to be better than your own self, if you will. I think a lot of people today, they're very comfortable with how they are, and they've gotten this sort of attitude of, well, just being acceptance. This acceptance of, oh, I'm just this way, and that just is what it is, and I'm okay with that. Look, and that, that's fine to a degree. I'm not saying you shouldn't have some of that, but also, you need to find a balance where you are trying to better yourself, I think. I really do. And I think that's the bigger thing. It's not so much that... My grandfather co-signed alone. I mean, that's very important that, you know, he did help me get into that world. But if I didn't have the confidence to do what I do, to put myself out there, I know it seems, it's different when you're doing it on YouTube versus real life, but you know, I started this thing off as if I had a huge audience and just, just did it, you know? And that's a level of confidence and putting yourself out there that, you know, I picked up from my father and my grandfather. Without him in my life the way he was, that wouldn't have happened, so. I thought that was worth saying here on video. I'm gonna miss the hell out of him, he was a cool dude. I got to see him right before he went, and that was really uh, helpful. You know, like basically the night before he he left. We had, we had a good time, it was a very good visit. And I think it's it's made it where it's better, you know, like this has been whew, easier than it should have been. That winded me a lot, just riding up and down that dirt like that. Oh God, I gotta get better for this track. I know a lot of people don't have a parent or grandparent like that in their life, and I've had, I, I, I realize the older I get how, uh, blessed and how good my life has been because of them, you know? Like, I had exceptional parents, exceptional grandparents. Hope get me where I am in this world. Let's see if my boy up here is up here. <laughs> I'm gonna get trapped back here. <laughs> They're gonna think it's like a like a bike they work on or, or some old salvage bike. <laughs> oh, no, there's a way through. There's a way through over here. Oh, God. I'm gonna go see what's up to these guys real quick and work with one of these dudes back in the day. But anyway, thanks for letting me BS with you about BS series. <coughs> Try not to die. <laughs> Take care.